and welcome to Eddie's Corner. So I'm in a new setting today. My mirror is not working. It's the light won't go on. The lighting is terrible. So I've had to move into the office. So I this is a quick um this is part three of the Sephora haul. So it's gonna be quick and to the point. So I picked up and some of these things are already open because I have been using them. So I picked up the La Mer um the tonic. Um, this is supposed to be um, applied after cleansing. Moisten a cotton pad and sweep over face and neck. Follow with your Lemare regimen. Avoid eye areas. So this is very nice. This is like a... I don't know if you guys remember I was using SK2 like crazy. And I really liked it. And I just wanted to try something different. So... Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's something like La Mer. I mean, something like SK2 um, advertises to be that it's an, uh, a skin essence that then your um, skincare will be absorbed better, will do what it has to, what it was meant to do. So we'll see. But so far, I really like it. So I got that. Okay, something else I picked up was the La Mer, um, the Radiant Skin Tint in Light Medium, number 32. I really like this again. I've already started to use it because I could not wait, but it's really, um, it's very light, sheer coverage, but just enough to make you look uh, polished, okay? And it's one of those skin tints that stretches, so it could cover a lot of, um, skin tones okay but this is the light medium i've been loving that i think i've already hauled this but just in case it's the ofra highlighter in rodeo drive amazing amazing i love it look at that it's the only highlighter i've been using i also picked up the anastasia beverly hills this is the brow freeze it's a brow styling wax it's obviously in a clear color you know, I used it yesterday for the first time, and maybe I used it the wrong way. I just I need to I need to find the correct spoolie to use it. But I want to say I prefer the Elf. There. So, ladies, save yourself and gentlemen, save yourself a couple of bucks and just get the Elf uh, brow freeze. I also picked up. A the um, Prism Libre Skin Carry Concealer by Givenchy. I had ordered it in the, in the color 280, too dark, so I'm returning that one. So then I got my hands on the two, then I got my hands on the 250. It was too light, and I think I found the right color, 270. Okay, then I picked up the Pat McGrath. This is the um, Divine Bronze Luxe Quad in the color, I guess it's, oh yeah, Venetian Sunrise. Or ben, Venetian, no, Venusian Sunrise. Whatever it is. Okay guys, this quad is gorgeous. I have gone into it, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Oh no, I picked up the wrong, ugh. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. So yeah, I picked that up. I'm gonna take this off because I am definitely keeping this quad, okay? Let's see, oh yes. I also picked up the Pat McGrath Divine Blush in Desert Orchid, gorgeous color. Let me, let me swatch this. beautiful i picked up and this is something else that the day i got it i started using it i haven't put it down it's the kosas the sunshow beachy um bronzer beautiful just beautiful i have i 
I know this lighting is not doing it justice, but I haven't been able to put this down. I also picked up a new foundation. It's by Basma, um, the foundation stick in number 33. Guys, I am not that impressed. So what happened here was I've kind of had to press it down because as soon as I opened this, this was, it just completely, I guess it was dried out. I don't know what it was. I was not impressed. I was a little upset at this. It's, I'm going to try it because I do want to give it a chance. I want to give it a chance and we'll see we'll see what happens so um i did call up sephora and they are sending me a brand spanking new one um so yeah but yeah we'll see i've, I've tried it and i'm like mm, i'm still on the fence about this but. okay i also picked up the melt cream blush light in golden hour i also had picked it up in another color but i swatched it because they don't have these at the store and it was so red and so i'm turning that i'm i'm gonna return that one so but this one is gorgeous so it's something that you have to put on really light it's almost like um it's almost like a highlighter i want to say so yeah, so it's a cream blush light. So it's somewhere in between. I mean, they were only $17. This color, I can see myself using this one more than the other one. I'm returning the other one. Okay, what else did I pick up? Okay, so I really, really, I think I had re-swatched and hauled two uh, Kaja Beauty Bento eyeshadow trios. So I picked up two three no hold on i picked up three more plus the face one okay so i picked up velvet dream which is comes these colors are so beautiful there's the matte a beautiful peach it's very peachy and then the dark which is not as dark it has a hint of pink in it it's like a warm nude very pretty i also picked up um a forest night but this is all shimmer it's all shimmer and it's not what i was looking for i have enough shimmers um And it's like chunky so yeah it's all shimmers gorgeous but i have and even i think this is a matte even that has some shimmer in it so yeah this is going back i also picked up peach madeline which is then very similar to uh, velvet dreams yeah, it's, it's like almost the same. So let me see. I haven't even opened this one. But just by the looks of it, I think they're very similar. Okay, again, it's that chunky, glittery. This one is matte and there's no shine to it. So yeah, I'm gonna return this one. Although I think it's gorgeous, I don't think I'm gonna use it that much. I also picked up the Trio Sculpt, the Blendable Sculpting Trio by Kaja. And this is in the color Butter Up, okay? Now this is so, I don't wanna keep this for sure. So, Look at this blush, how beautiful. 
I'm not sure if that's the blush or the hot. No, yeah, that's the blush. This is the highlighter. And then this is the cream bronzer. Yeah, for my skin tone, this is perfect. I love it. I really like that. Okay, RMS Beauty. I picked up another Redimension Hydra Powder Blush in the color French Rosé because I can't get enough of these blushes. Okay, gosh, look at that. Okay, let me... Oof. But they're so buttery soft. Look at that. Okay. Loving it. I also picked up another Clarins um, Lip Comfort Oil in um, Pitaya number four. This is lip oil with Sweet Briar Rose Oil. I love these. I adore these. It's a beautiful pink with a little hint of, I think, orangey red in it. Very pretty. I also picked up another um dior addict lip oil this time i picked it up in pink as well very pretty i do want to get my hands on now i'm not sure if it's the clarence lip oil or the dior lip oil they have like a purple one mm, that looks amazing all right guys what else did i pick up okay i picked up the charlotte tilbury it's the under eye face under eye and face cheek for intense color correction. So I definitely need that. Um, this is in the color fair. Okay. Let's see if I have it. So it's just a color corrector. Okay, not much to it, but I've heard good reviews about this. Let's see. I picked up oh, another Gucci um backup in lip liner in the color nude 01 because i love that one ah oh, i picked up let's see the glossier i don't i picked this up before the sale but i never um hauled it i believe the boy brow in brown and clear okay these are backups because i still have I still have one that I'm using. Hmm. What is it? Well, because I know I picked up a um, Kosas one, which I've been using. All right, so Lila B, we all know, unfortunately, Lila B is no longer, but I did find that they had one of the um, tinted lip balms available color be savvy so yes it looks intense but remember it's a lip balm see mm. it's a very nice deep mauve okay I also picked up the Tom Ford Eye Color Cro Eye Color Quad Creme in Rose Topaz. When, again, they didn't have this in the stores, so I had to pick it up. And I have to say, it is gorgeous. So, throwing this away, guys, these colors are. <gasps> look at that! I'm definitely going to do a look. I've done. I've used it once or twice already and I'm loving it. But it the name is very deceiving. Okay. This to me is like one of his old quads. I forget which one it was. Obviously in powder form, but gorgeous. The name is a little deceiving. Okay. Um I picked up the Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo in 1W. Because sometimes they used to, have, I think this is what they used to have in the in the pan, but I like this um, application method better. So if you have like this, you can just touch it up. If you've got severe, you know, under eye discoloration, 
this i think i already showed you guys but i did pick up a backup and i'm using both this is the anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in deep taupe oh my gosh this color is Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, yes. So I picked up a Sephora Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. It's a waterproof eyeliner. I don't know how much of a waterproof it is. I wore it last night for the first time and it was okay. Um, it was 30% off, so I wanted to take advantage of that and um i'm still holding out i got it in the color brown espresso matte um and i'm holding out still hoping that mark jacobs beauty mark jacob beauty comes back and they come back with their gel eyeliners which were amazing in the meantime i'll stick with this okay i found them it's the kosa soft brown and honey blonde um eyebrow airbrow tinted volumizing treatment gel i've used the honey blonde and i love it and i plan to use this during the summer so i'm so happy with this i am stocked up with eyebrow gel okay then i was so impressed with the biosans i think it's the um with the squalene and copper peptide rapid plumping serum which I've been using every day. I was so impressed with this that I said, you know what? I want to see if I can, if I get along with the eye cream. So I found it in this little um, discovery set. Okay. It has, it says it's a clean routine, your clean routine, rapid radiant set are essential best-selling treatments to reveal your most radiant, resilient skin. And it brings the squalene vitamin C rose oil, the Squalene Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum, the eye cream, and the face cream. I also picked up my Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. I love this stuff. This is by um, Wishful, I believe. This is the Huda um, skincare line. Apply, to gener apply a generous amount on clean, dry skin skin gently massage in a circular motion to roll and sweep away impurities rinse well and with warm water i use this in the shower i love it i've missed it i had a chanel one but it feels like too gummy and it left like a residue on my face so yeah i am back to my wishful yo glow enzyme scrub love it love it love it i also picked up the Clarins Advanced Body Shaping Cream targets stubborn fat, firms, and redefines. The best body shaping expertise for you. All right. So, I think this is, um, yeah, it comes. I don't believe it has a scent, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it does. It's very nice. It's it's not that like thick because it is jiggly. And if I do go like that, you see how it starts to come out. So I'm definitely going to be using this. I want my skin. You know, the other day I was like um, putting some cream on my thighs and I was like, ooh, it feels it's not toned. And I could all my life, not all my life, but once I hit 30, if there was anything that was toned, it was my legs. And I'm not getting that feeling anymore. All right, guys, I picked up two extra brushes. These were 30% off. I already have them, but I like to have backups because I'm always using them. So I picked up the Pro Brush Foundation number 47. This is a great brush especially if you're applying things like um skin tints okay so this is perfect for that okay nice flat brush 
And I also picked up the um, Pro Brush Concealer, number 71. I went to the store, they didn't have these in stock, so I had to order it online. Again, great brushes. Doesn't mean that I'm not using my BK Beauty, it just means that I use it so much that they're always dirty. <laughs> so, okay. I realized I did the brushes and I still had one more um, eyeshadow palette. So I picked up the um, Dior Backstage Eye Palette in Cool Neutrals. So, now yes, this looks like it's a purple palette, but I just think the colors are so beautiful. And I do wear, I do wear not purple purple because Dear Beauty came out with a purple um, quint that I ended up giving away to one of my nieces because I, that purple was too, um, it was like almost like this. So you see, this is very different than this. This is more like purpley, nudie colors. So gorgeous. I'm very happy with this. Um, then I also have my um, brush set from Refer Brush. They had their 40% off sale and amazing. So let's see. Oh, I picked up all their face brushes. And I think they're made in Japan, I want to say. Yeah. So I cannot wait. Sorry, guys. Here we go. The construction is going on. So I cannot wait to start using all these brushes. Um, so it's a set of... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen brushes. Is that what it is? I thought they were more. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, yeah, there's thirteen brushes in the set. Here we go. I I'm in love with their eye set. Their I'm in love with their eyeshadow um set. I bought that the previous year during their um sale. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to start using these. And with the purchase of the set, you were also gifted, um, their modular vanity system. So this is for palettes. So you can just line up, stack up your palettes. This is a modular vanity system, lips and sticks. And what I like about these, it keeps all your brushes very organized. And, oh, another palette. Nice, nice. I, I will probably reorganize my makeup drawers using that. And then I also took advantage, and I think I paid, I want to say, doesn't have, I purchased three of the makeup sponges because these are new. And they had them at an introductory price, I think, of $2. And I was like, how can I go wrong? Oh, they feel really nice. Wow. And I think when they're regular priced, I think they're going to be over 5 or $7. So I picked up three of those. So, yes, guys. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> If you like these kinds of videos, if you enjoyed it, I am going to link everything down below. Yes, I am working on getting an iPad because here's the thing. It's very hard to link everything when you're using an iPhone. Um, I don't necessarily want to log on um, to my YouTube channel using my work computer at all. Uh, that's not what it's for. So I won't do that. And 
my work computers in this office. So I refuse to do that at night. So when I link my, um, yeah, all the work I do on my videos is on my iPhone. So I go back into my guest bedroom while we have our smart TV. I watch, you know, shows. That's where I have my crafting station too. So I am planning on buying a top notch iPad so I can use it kind of like a um, little laptop and there I can make it's going to be much easier to link stuff so yeah guys all right um, please uh, like the video um, send me messages comment and subscribe all right guys Mwah. bye